So hi, welcome to ST in Las Vegas at CS 2020. My name is Roberto Sannino and I'm System Research Manager. Here I will discuss uh, uh, sensors for Industry 4.0. So with Industry 4.0, smart factories uh, achieve better knowledge and control over the entire production process through real-time monitoring techniques, while uh, distributed control systems uh, based on IoT architecture may take advantage of big data and IA technology in order to increase and enhance sustainability while reducing maintenance costs. So a key concept we want to show at this demo stage, stage is uh, the concept of a smart sensor node, which is a node, a little board, that concentrates uh, processing, sensing, and connectivity features and capabilities. It is a smart node because it must adapt to the different uh, system requirements uh, which uh, will change from case by case uh, in a production factory. So with this demo, we show several examples uh, of uh, modularity where we exploit a different kind of connectivity in order to achieve control of uh, monitoring, constant monitoring of vibrations, uh, acoustics, uh, and environmental parameters uh, of the devices under, uh, under investigation. In this demo set, we are going to see several examples of connection of a, a smart sensor node to the cloud. In the specific case, the cloud is uh, hosted by the ST.com website uh, and is based on uh, Amazon AWS. So we see, first of all, in this example, uh, a sensor node that is connected via a typical industrial uh, serial link that is called IO-Link. And uh, here, the system is measuring the vibration of, uh, of this uh, uh, motor. So let's turn on the motor in order to start observing the vibrations that are shown here from the da dashboard connected to the cloud. So while the motor runs, uh, we observe uh, a number of harmonics uh, in the frequency domain that are typical, a typical signature of a good behavior of the motor. Now, we're going to disturb the, the behavior of the motor with an external magnet uh, that is placed uh, close to it. Now, this, uh, this is going to generate an anomaly that, uh, is uh, that uh, will impose uh, certain spurious vibrations to the system that are detected by the board. The board sent, senses this irregularity and sends an alarm into the gateway and then into the cloud. So if we check the dashboard, we see that we received a notification of an event, which in this case is an alarm showing that pump one is malfunctional. Now, if we correct the problem by taking away the magnet from the motor, we will see that the system, because of its continuous mo monitoring, checks and tells us that the problem has been corrected. So in this case, we use the green grass uh, based architecture, a gateway, where uh, that manages connect connection to the cloud in a seamless way. So even if there are uh, connectivity instabilities, the, uh, the gateway can, uh, can solve any, uh, any problem and keep synchronization between the local information and the cloud-based information. So let's now consider what we can do with a wireless sensor node which is uh, shown here in this, uh, in this uh, application. So in this case, we have this board that's called ST-Win, that is a, a wireless industrial node, smart node, connected to a bearing. Now, this system, being battery powered, can work in low power mode, which means by pushing this button, we are going to cut out uh, the communication, the constant communication to the cloud, so that the system can go on and analyze the data. While the motor has a good behavior, we don't need to continuously send the same data over to the cloud, but we can optimize the process. Now, the system in low power mode checks the vibrations, inertial and acoustic, of these systems, uh, and uh, runs it continuously. Now, let's inject a problem into this bearing by simulation and see what happens when we do so. We have injected the problem and the system has just wake up uh, from uh, the low power mode. A warning has been raised, as you can see in the cloud interface. And uh, through this warning, uh, the system is doing two things. It's notifying that something strange is happening to the system and is also beginning to send actually data to the cloud so that they can be further analyzed. If we inject uh, an even stronger problem into this bearing, uh, we're simulating uh, a, a, wor a worse damage, uh, 
the system can also autonomously raise an alarm that is more important, calling for help uh, immediately into, into the system. Okay. So, and this is something that can happen using an autonomous Wi-Fi connection to, to the provided cloud. The ST-Win is also meant to be a, a tool to be used for data, by data scientists because it can stream all its sensors, and we're talking about 22 sensors at full resolution, in real time over USB onto a host. In this case, you see this PC receiving all the 22 sensors, which include vibrational, inertial, uh, environmental, acoustics and ultrasound, all in real time and synchronized onto a PC. This is basically what is needed by a data scientist in order to do his job and generate uh, advanced algorithm in order to process the application data. So here we see two other examples of sensor nodes uh, implemented as an ODE stack of boards uh, based on the STM32WB or a sensor tile dot box system. They are connected via Bluetooth to a gateway imp implementing a green grass uh, architecture by Amazon. This, uh, this part of the demo can be done through a third party company, an ST partner called Kirka uh, uh, Technology. And uh, it connects uh, autonomously to, a, um, to the web Onto a, dash, onto a dashboard as shown in this, uh, in this uh, picture. So, what, uh, everything that has been shown here can be easily replicated because all the hardware and software devices we have shown are available at st.com, can be used, and so every part of this demo can be replicated in your labs. Uh. In particular, we consider the fundamental to lower the barriers of entry into this interesting application field. And for that reason, we have prepared these kind of sensor node boards uh, as available through kits like this one, where they can be used, connected to battery, plugged and closed into a case, and deployed on the field. So the cloud is available through st.com, giving exactly these results, which can, can be customized depending on your needs. So thank you for your attention. And for further information, please visit www.st.com. Thank you. And